uh, I've never not been aware of anti-Semitism as a whole. I mean, my, my my grandparents are survivors. My my uh, mom's response to 9/11 was, "We always knew there was evil in the world. Like there was no surprise in you know in my family." Um, but I would, and I um, I was always like aware of it, but it becoming like a very popular thing. In the last few years, I've sort of seen an increase. Like it feels like anti-Semitism has become popular. What do you attribute this to? Um, I would say political extreme, like extremism on both ends. It, I think it comes from like both ends of the American political extreme. There, I mean, it's a slightly different kind of anti-Semitism, and I think the anti-Semitism on the right is less accepted than what ends up coming from the left, but it's it's there. He's somebody that is my blood, you know, um, he's important to me. He's been a mentor to me. He's taken care of me in my childhood and and his childhood and mine were very different. So it's it's hard to imagine, but of course, I realize how important it is for me to know that that can happen to people like us. Okay, that's, you, 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 you took the words out of my mouth. Do you feel that it could happen? Again, mm -hmm. anything could happen again. One of my first memories was at Kanawana in Later years, pretty much meaning the second year I was there onward, there was a decent sized Jewish community and I felt the camp was aware of that. But my first year at the camp, for whatever reason, it was pretty much me, one or two other people who I knew from the West Island uh, who were Jewish and that was it. And uh, I don't know why it changed so quickly after that first year, but that first year was definitely that that was uh, the memory I have was being awake at night and the discussion in the tent was whether the Holocaust happened. Um, so that, that was a, that was a very interesting moment that there was, it wasn't like it was me versus the tent or anything like that. There was definitely other people in there who were going, there was one person who was saying it didn't happen and uh, everyone else was pretty much sitting there going, you're wrong. Um, there was a few who were listening and trying to come up with some middle ground and really weren't too sure what was going on. But um, that was like the experience I remember because no one thought, oh, there's Jewish people in the tent. I think sometimes maybe people will like say things in, in front of a person thinking that they're maybe not realizing that they're Jew Jewish. And so they might say something somewhat anti-Semitic. Um, I think in, in that way that maybe, maybe I've experienced some of that in my travels. And then um, generally I just say, oh, did you know that I was Jewish? And then I'll start to, to talk to them about that because I think really sometimes the best way to confront anti-Semitism is to present yourself as a Jewish person. And if they already know you and it might change their percep perception, I, I'm affected when I see um, like a, a synagogue um, has been like had swastikas spray painted on it or at a cemetery or something like that. C certainly I'm affected. And um, the last time when I was in Israel, on the, I remember being on the beach and hearing a lot of French and um, and talking to some of the people from France and they had uh, moved to Israel because they felt that they were not safe in France. And so obviously, you know, reminds you about the precarious situation that Jews can be in or, or just seeing like what happened under Trump in the United States and the, and the rise of um, anti-Semitism and just uh, hate against minority groups. Uh, growing up, Judaism was Holocaust. It was that was that was it, what it was. So, um, if Judaism was Holocaust, mm. and I hate I shouldn't interrupt you because you see, no, 
what does that mean? What, what does it mean? Other than you said the somber atmosphere in the house. Yeah. What else? Um, it, it meant that you lost your family in something. Okay. It meant that they were killed and they were <gasps> murdered oh. for being your religion. Uh -huh. It meant that, uh, that you were hated. Mm. And even though the world came around and took, and, and, and took, you know, took, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, ownership, ownership to some degree, yeah. I guess, yeah. you know, um, it, it, it never left because of it. I mean, there was major scars and that, that just rippled down you know, to, toward um, my parents and toward um, me and my brothers as uh, siblings and uh, third generation. Anti-Semitism is racism. Yeah, I'm white. I know I'm white. I'm not saying that it's the same as being, um, you know, I'm not, you know, as being black or there's levels, but anti-Semitism is a form of racism. So I just want people to be mindful and say, you know, that what you're saying, I know you don't know better because you, you weren't taught. Let me teach you. And then you could teach me something, you know, I'm happy to learn. How do you feel about the rise in anti-Semitism that's going on all over the world? Have you thought about it? So it's it's interesting the way you phrase the question. Um, how do I feel about the rise? I'm not a hundred percent. I don't. I, I I'm not educated enough to say if it's a rise. I uh -huh. think I think that uh, social media and access to the world yeah has made has made it more in our backyard. At the University of Toronto. We were uh, uh, on a webinar the other day and it was students and professors at u of t talking about the rise in anti-semitism it's so bad on campus that some of the kids are happy to be uh, having their classes at home uh, they talked about a story where a young man wearing the kippa his books were thrown on the ground and they said you boy pick up your books they also talked about the fact that the university uh didn't want to do anything about it, mm -hmm. that they were allowing it to happen and were just witnessing it and, and not willing to deal with it, address it in, in any way. So I think it's a lot more prevalent than we understand. How do you think your grandparents would have felt about something like this? It's an interesting question. I think I it goes, it goes, my first thought is that my grandfather would be, you know, devastated because like I said, it's, it's interesting that he was a proud Jew, not practicing, but the identity of being Jewish was something. 